good day. In this session, we are going to discuss about addition and subtractions of rational expressions. So we have here similar and dissimilar rational expressions. Let us tackle first about addition and subtraction of similar rational expressions. When you say similar, we have same denominator. So ang given nung makikita nyo ay same ang kanyang denominator. So, kapag similar rational expressions ang ating susolve, we are going to copy the denominator, add or subtract the numerator, then you are going to simplify. So, ganun lang kasimple kapag similar ang ating denominator or similar ang ating rational expression. Let us have number 1. We have 4 over 5 plus 3 over 5. Since we have similar ang kanyang denominator or same, just copy the denominator 5, then you are going to add 4 plus 3. So, we have 4 plus 3, the answer is 7 over 5. So, this is now your answer. That is it. Ganun lang kasimple kapag similar rational expressions. Number 2, we have 7 over 10 minus 3 over 10. So, copy the denominator 10. Then you have here 7 minus 3. 7 minus 3, the answer is 4 over 10. Since 4 over 10 are divisible by 2, pwede pa siya simplify. So, ito ay magiging 2 si 10 becomes 5. So, the answer is 2 over 5. Is it clear? So, kailangan nakasimplify lagi ang ating final answer into lowest term. Next tayo, we have negative 3 over 8 minus 7 over 8. Copy the denominator, which is 8. Then we have here negative 3 minus 7. Since we have here same in sign, so you are going to add. So negative 3 plus 7, that is 10. So that is negative 10 over 8. Then 10 over 8, they are divisible by 2. So simplify pa natin. So si 10 becomes 5, si 8 becomes 4. So your final answer here is negative 5 over 4. Is it clear? So, that is for numbers 1, 2, and 3. So, simple numbers lang tayo. Simple, similar numbers lang tayo. Similar fractions. So, let us have number 4. We have here 2x over 5y plus 7 over 5y. So, same ulit ang ating um, denominator which is 5i, 5y. Then, you are going to add 2x plus 7. So, si 2x plus 7... Hindi mo na siya po pwede pang ipagsamahin kasi yung isa ay may variable, yung isa ay walang variable. So, therefore, wala ka na rin dyan pwede i-cancel out. So, therefore, this is now your final answer. We have 2x plus 7 over 5y. Is it clear? So, let us have more examples. Number 5. So, same denominator ulit ang ating given. So, we are going to copy the denominator which is x plus 4. Then, we are going to combine x minus 3. Since dito, wala nang pwede i-factor, yan na yung pinakasagot mo. That is it. Ganun lang kasimple. Next tayo. O, take note ulit, ah. Bawal cancel si x, ah. Kasi meron tayong operation sa gitna, ah. So, ito na yung final answer mo. Right? Next tayo. Let us have number 6. So, same denominator again. Just copy the denominator for x plus 3. Then, afterwards, pag-combine natin yung dalawa, 16x squared minus 9. Since 16x squared minus 9, meron siyang common. What is common sa kanila? So, um, ay, sorry. Wala pala siyang common, but they are perfect squared then minus. So, mag magkakaroon tayo ng factoring dito na perfect square um, difference of 2 square. So, square root ng 16, we have here 4x at saka 4x. If we multiply 4 times 4, the answer is 16. Then, x times x, we have x squared. Then, positive and negative lang yan. Then, square root ni 9. Ano square root ni 9? We have 3 and 3. So, isang positive, isang negative ba? Over 4x plus 3. Then, pwede na kayo mag-cancellation. Si 4x plus 3 at 4x plus 3. So, ang matitira natin is si 4x minus 3. For that. That is it. So, titingnan nyo kung pwede pa siyang i-factor ha kapag ikaw ay sa addition and subtraction din. So, same with multiplication division. Pag factorable, ipa-factored mo. Para magkaroon ka ng pwede mo i-cancel out. Right? 
Number 7. So, we have here, same denominator of 7. Then, since pressure, so you are going to add 9x minus 13 plus, just add, x plus 4. Then, combine like terms lang. Then, over 7 tayo. Combine natin yung may x. So, 9x plus x, the answer is 10x. Next, negative 13 plus 4. So, negative 13, since mas mataas yung 13, which is negative, negative din dapat yung sagot nyo. Then, you are going to subtract kasi magkaiba yung sign niya. So, 13 minus 4, the answer is 9. So, that is it. So, dito, wala ka nang pwede i-factor dito, wala ka na rin pwede i-cancel out. So, eto na yung pinaka-answer mo. Is it clear? Next tayo, let us have number 8. So, we have here x minus 5. Okay, we have here x squared minus 3x minus 12. Then, since plus yan, just write the plus. Plus 5x minus 23. That is it. Then, combine like terms tayo. So, we have here x minus 5. So, i-combine lang. So, unahin si x squared. Since walang kamukha si x squared, just write x squared. So, then, this one. Si negative 3x plus 5x. Since mas mataas yung positive, positive dapat yung sagot nyo. Then, different sign, you are going to subtract. 5 minus 3, the answer is 2x. Then, this one. So, si negative 12 but negative 23, same sign siya, you are going to add. So, copy the sign, which is negative. Then, you will add 12 plus 23, the answer is 35. That is it. Then, since meron tayo ditong quadratic trinomial, pwede tayong mag-factoring. Okay. So, pwede natin i-try si trial and error. So, you have here x and x. Since negative ito, isang positive, isang negative. Then, you are going to think a number sa so 35. Factor si 35. Pag sinubdrak mo, ang magiging sagot is 2. So, ang factor si 35, pwede 7 and 5. 7 times 5, the answer is 35. Tama? Ngayon, sino ngayon ang positive, sino ay negative? Kung dito ay positive, then this one is negative. So, kailangan positive 2 x positive 2 yung lalabas dito. So, 7 minus 5, the answer is 2. So, correct. So, therefore, ang dapat na positive ay si 7, ang negative ay si 5. Then, over x minus 5. Ayan. Nakakita ka ng same, up and down. Si x minus 5, x minus 5. So, cancelled out. Therefore, ang magiging sagot mo na lang is x plus 7. That is it. So, that's how you are going to add and subtract of similar fractions. So, isa pang example, uh, yung minus naman yung nasa gitna. Number 9. So, same denominator. So, just copy the denominator of x minus 3. Since ito negative, kailangan ito, yung negative, i-distribute mo dun sa binomial, ha? Unlike kapag positive yan, kaopyahin mo lang yan. Dito, mag-change ng sign dapat yung inyong pangalawang term. So, we have here 4x plus 3. So, since minus yan, kailangan naka-open parenthesis. So, you have here 3x plus 2. Yan. Then, it is equal. Tatandaan niya na, hindi lang si negative, hindi lang si 3 yung magbabago ng sign, pati yung positive 2. Kasi, i-distribute mo yung negative sign. So, we have here 4x plus 3, then negative times negative 3x, that is minus 3x. Then, negative times positive 2, it becomes negative 2. Yun kasi yung madalas na pagkakamali. Kapag minus dito, ito lang yung nababago ang sign. Yung pangalawang number, hindi niya nababago. So, kailangan po ikulong na siya sa open and close parenthesis para ma-take note nyo na si negative ay kailangan nyo i-distribute dun sa inyong binomial. Alright? Then, over x minus 3. Tsaka ka mag-simplify. Magko-combine like terms tayo. So, 4x minus 3x. 4x minus 3x, the answer is x. Next, 3 minus 2. 3 minus 2, the answer is positive 1. Diba? So, since positive yung mas mataas na number, so, positive dapat yung sagot nyo. Then, different in sign, you are going to subtract. 3 minus 2, the answer is positive 1. So, we have x plus 1 over, just copy the denominator, x minus 3. Ulit, ito hindi na po pwede i-cancel kasi meron ka ditong operation. Alright? So, this is now your final answer for number 9. 
So, take note with that kapag meron kang minus dyan, ha? So, next tayo, let us have number 10. Dito kay number 10, as you can see, meron lang tayong subtraction and addition. So, dalawang operation yung nag involve sa atin, rational expression. So, now, we are going to copy the denominator pa rin since magkamukha naman yung magangat denominator niya. So, our denominator is equal to, so, over x minus 4 tayo. Just copy 4x plus 2, 4x plus 2. Then, minus. Since yung minus natin, binomial ito, so, lagay mo ulit sa open parenthesis, so, you have here 2x plus 3. Then, plus tayo, since plus lang yan, so, plus 3x plus 1. So, meaning, walang mababago sa kanya. So, ito, i-distribute natin dito. So, it is equal to, so, copy, copy lang natin si 4x plus 2. Then, distribute natin yung sign. So, si negative, magiging negative 2x ito. Then, yung negative, distribute mo kay positive 3, magiging negative 3 naman yun. Then, just copy plus 3x plus 1 over x minus 4. Then, combine like terms lang ulit tayo. So, we have your mga x. 4x minus 2x plus 3x. So, 4 minus 2, we have 2. 2 plus 3, we have 5x. Then, we have here now, 2 minus 3, that is negative 1. Negative 1 plus 1, that is 0. Diba? Negative 1 plus 1, that is 0. So, therefore, wala ka ng constant dito. Then, over na lang tayo, x minus 4. That is it. So, this is now your answer. Alright? So, that is how you are going to add and subtract similar rational expressions. Now, let's move with this similar rational expressions. Let us have a short review about finding the LCD. So, we have here a given, then meron mga denominator. We are going to find for the LCD lang. Least common denominator lang. So, for us to find the LCD, ganito lang siya. For example, your denominator here is 12 and then you have here 4xy. So, since we have here 12 and 4xy, we have 12 and 4. So, for us to find it, LCM. So, 3, uh, we have 4, 8, and then 12. Dito, start ka kay 12. So, nagkamukha na sila sa 12, therefore, that is your LCD. So, yun na yun. So, you have your, we have here 12. That would be your denominator. Then, for x and y, since some variable, wala namang variable dito, kopya mo lang, 12xy. So, this is now your LCD. Ganun lang. How about this one? X and Y, wala silang common, kaya ang denominator mo is XY. That is it. Next tayo. We have here um, A, B, and C squared. Wala ulit silang common to each other. Therefore, ang denominator mo is A, B, C squared. Multiply mo lang yung tatlo. Alright? That would be your denominator. Then, this one. We have 6X squared at saka 8X. 8 x raised to 4. So, since si 6 at saka si 8, meron sila in common na divisible sila by 2. So, pwede natin makuha yung least common. So, we have 6, 12, um, 18, then 24. Ito, 8, 16, 24. Nagkamukha sila sa 24. So, therefore, ang LCD nila is 24. That is it. Then, kapag variable, since same variable tayo, Ang kukunin mo, yung may pinakamataas na exponent. So, sino may may mataas na exponent? We have x raised to 4. So, this is now your denominator. That is it. So, ganun lang kumuha ng LCD. Your least common denominator. Isa pa. 5. Your denominator is 15x at saka si 5y. So, we have si 15 and 5 divisible by 5. So, we can assume that the least common denominator is 15 na agad. So, you have 15. Then, x and y, wala nang common. So, you will just 15xy. That would be your denominator, 15xy. So, this one. We have here, x squared minus 4. So, dito, kailangan muna siya i-factor. So, ang factor ni x squared minus 4. So, since we have here, difference of 2 square, x and x, tsaka plus 2, at tsaka plus 2. Ah, minus 2, sorry. Plus 2 at saka minus 2. That is it. Then, yung isa naman, ang kanyang factors naman, we have x and x. Factors ni 4, pag in mo ay 5, is plus 4 at saka plus 1. 
O mapapansin nyo, wala ang common sa kanilang lahat. Therefore, ang denominator mo ay silang lahat. That would be x plus 2 times x minus 2, then x plus 4 times x plus 1. That would be your LCD. Lahat sila. Okay? Next tayo, this one. So, dito, since wala namang common din sa kanilang dalawa, therefore, ang inyong denominator is x minus 4 tsaka x plus 4. That is it. Next tayo, last tayo, we have here x plus y cube, then x plus y. Etong x plus y cube, meaning yan is x plus y times x plus y times x plus y. Yan yung ibig sabihin niya, tatlong beses. Tapos yung isa ay x plus y. So, paano mo kukuhanin ang LCD niyan? So, therefore, ang denominator niya ay, eto ay count as 1. So, you have here x plus y. Then, eto lang, ulitin mo lang yan. Yung x plus y na natira, tsaka x plus y. So, that is your LCD. Is it clear? So, kapag naulit, halimbawa naulit to sa kabilang side, count as 1 siya. Then, kuhanin mo lang ulit yung naiba pang factors. Then, multiply mo lang. Then, that would be your LCD. Alright? Now, let us move with um, this similar rational expression. So, i-apply natin to ngayon doon sa ating, um, sa ating addition and subtraction of this similar rational expressions. Addition and subtraction of the similar rational expressions. So, first step you are going to do, we are going to find for the LCD. LCD is the least common denominator. It would be your new denominator. Then, afterwards, you are going to divide the LCD to your original denominator and multiply your answer in the numerator. Then, we are going to perform the operation and simplify. So, that is how you are going to add and subtract this similar. So, medyo mahaba yung way niya. Unlike sa similar, kakapi mo lang yung denominator, then you are going to add or subtract your numerator. So, ganun lang kapag similar. So, dito kay this similar, medyo mahaba ang way niya. So, makinig mabuti. So, let us have number 1. So, simple fractions lang muna tayo. We have here 3 over 5 plus 2 over 3. So, first, let us find the LCD between 5 and 3. Since si 5 and 3, wala naman siyang common to each other. Imumultiply natin siya para makuha natin yung LCD. So, 5 times 3, the answer is 15. That is your LCD. Then, you are going to divide 15 divided by 3. Uh, 15 divided by 5, the answer is 3. Then, 3 times 3, the answer is 9. So, right here, 9. Next tayo. 15 divided by 3, the answer is 5. 5 times 2, the answer is 10. Plus 10. So, it is equal to 9 plus 10, the answer is 19 over 15. That is it. So, that's the answer. Okay? Nasusundan? So, sa pa? We have here. So, 8 and 4. So, 8 and 4, meron silang similarities, which is, they are divisible by 4. Tama? So, ang kukuhanin mo, yung highest number between 8 and 4. Since sila ay pwede mo i-divide to each other, hanapin mo lang yung pinakamataas sa kanila, which is 8. So, that is your LCD. Alright? So, 8... Divided by 8 is 1. 1 times 7, the answer is 7. Then minus. 8 divided by 4, the answer is 2. 2 times 3, the answer is 6. Then just subtract. 7 minus 6, the answer is 1 over 8. That is it. So that's how you are going to find for the LCD. Okay? What if meron kang variables? Number 3. Oh, meron na tayong variable dito. 4x over 5 plus 3y over 2x. So, let us find the LCD. So, ang LCD mo, since wala namang common read between 5 and 2, multiply mo pag wala. 5 times 2x, the answer is 10x. That would be your LCD. Then, you are going to divide. 10x divided by 5. So, the answer is 2x. ba? So, 10 divided by 5, we have 2. So, that is 2x. Then, mumultiply mo kay 4x. Ayan. Hindi ko muna minultiply kasi baka malito kayo. So, plus. So, 10x divided by 2x. Ang sagot dyan is 5. 
Then, mo-multiply natin kay 3y. Then, tsaka natin simplify. So, it is equal to 2x times 4x. The answer is 8x squared. Kapag mag-multiply ka, a-add mo yung exponent dito. Okay? So, 2 times 4, we have 8. Copy the variable x. Then, 1 plus 1, we have 2. 8x squared. Alright? Plus... 5 times 3, the answer is 15. Then, just copy y kasi wala ka na i-multiply kay y. Then, over 10x. That is it. So, this is now your final answer. So, wala ka nang pwede i-canceled out dyan. So, eto na yung inyong sagot. Okay? Let us have more examples. Number 4. As you can see, your denominator is 4x squared and 6x cubed. So, we are going to find for the LCD of 4 and 6 muna. Doon muna tayo sa numerical. Para makuha mo yung 4 and 6. So, we have 4 and 6. So, pili ka lang. So, divisible by 4, we have 4, 8, then 12. So, yung mga multiples of 6 naman, we have here 6, then 12. Since nagkamukha ni sila sa 12, therefore, that is your LCD. So, we have here 12. Okay? This common denominator. Then, for, kapag variable, x squared and x cubed, since parehas naman silang x, pipiliin mo lang yung may pinakamataas na exponent. So, what is the higher exponent? That is x cubed. So, that is your LCD na. Is it clear? Then, afterwards, we are going to divide na and then multiply to your numerator. So, let us divide. 12 divided by 4, the answer is 3. Then, x cubed divided by x squared, ang sagot na lang doon is x. So, you are going to subtract the exponent eh. Then, multiply natin sa numerator, which is 7. That is it. Then, plus tayo. 12 divided by 6, the answer is 2. Then, x cubed divided by x cubed, wala na. Canceled out na kasi parehas lang siya, magiging 1 na yun. Then, multiply na natin by 4, which is your denominator. Then, we are going to simplify. 7 times 3x, the answer is 21x. Then, plus 2 times 4, the answer is 8. Then, over 12x cubed. Since yung ating sagot ay wala nang po pwedeng i-factor or i-simplify, therefore, this is now your final answer. Is it clear? So, ingat tayo sa pagkuha ng LCD ha. So, let us have number 5. For number 5, we have here 9y squared and 4xy. So, we are going to find. So, since si 9 at 4, wala naman silang divisibility to each other, multiply mo na lang yan. 9 times 4. That would be your um, LCD for the numerical. So, 9 times 4, the answer is 36. Then, for x, walang x no sa kabila, just write your x. Then, we have y squared and y, pinakamataas na exponent, you have here y squared. So, that would be your LCD. Then, you are going to divide now. 36 divided by 9, the answer is 4. Next, xy squared divided by y squared. So, mawawala si y squared ang matitilar si x, kaya 4x tayo. Then, this is 4x, multiply natin dun sa ating numerator, which is 4x. Then, minus, we have here. So, 36xy squared divided by 4xy. So, 36 divided by 4, the answer is 9. Then, x at si x, mawawala na si x. Si y squared at si y, so drop the exponent, it becomes 9y. Okay? Then, multiply natin by 3, yung numerator mo. Yan na, slowly but surely naman tayo ha. So, 4x times 4x, the answer is 16x squared. Then, 9y times 3, the answer is negative uh, 927y over 36xy squared. So, since wala na tayo pwede i-factor dito at wala na rin pwedeng i-divide, so therefore, this is now your final answer. Is it clear? So, next tayo, let us have number 6. We have here a over a plus 1 plus 3 over a. So, dito... Since wala naman ding common dito, so, mumultiply natin. So, you have a times a plus 1. So, that would be your LCD. Ganun lang kasimple. Then, you are going to divide. So, we have a times a plus 1 divided by a plus 1. So, makakancel to, matitira ay si a. So, magyayari a times a. So, the answer is a squared. Diba? 
Kasi magiging a times a. Then dito, we have here a times a, ah, a times a plus 1 divided by a. So, mawawala naman si a, ang matitira ay si a plus 1. So, plus, um, copy 3 times a plus 1. Dito, minultiply ko na agad, ah. So, it is equal to, just multiply lang to. So, you have here a squared plus 3 times a, we have here 3a. Then, 3 times 1, the answer is plus 3. Over, eto, you will just multiply, then we have a squared plus a. That is it. So, wala na dito ang factor. So, eto, pinagsama mo na lang. So, wala ka naman na ding makakancel doon. So, this is now your final answer. Is it clear? So, ganun lang siya kasimple, ha? Ah. So, please, wag pong malilito. Let us have number 7. So, dito, factor muna natin para makita natin yung um, LCD niya. Factor muna natin itong si x squared minus 25. Copy x. Then, ang factors ni x squared minus 25 is x and x, isang positive, isang negative, kasi difference of 2 square siya, perfect square pareha, parehas. Ang square root ni 25 is 5 and then 5. That is it. Plus, we have here 5 over x minus 5. Okay? Now, let us have the LCD. So, for us to find the LCD of this one, yung may, yung, since may kamukha dito, x minus 5, isang beses mo na lang siya uulitin. So, Ang ating LCD is x plus 5 times x minus 5. That is it. Yan na yun. So, ito yun. Then, i-divide natin. x plus 5 times x minus 5 divided by x plus 5 times x minus 5. If the answer is 1. 1 times x, the answer is x. That is it. Then, plus tayo. Plus. x plus 5 times x minus 5 divided by x minus 5. So, mawawala si x minus 5. Ang matitira si x plus 5. So, we have here 5. Mul multiply natin sa natira, which is x plus 5. Yeah. Then, we are going to distribute. So, we have now, it is equal to x plus 5 times x. The answer is 5x. Then, 5 times 5. The answer is plus 25. Then, over x plus 5 times x minus 5. Then, combine like terms. So, x plus 5x, the answer is 6x plus 25 over. Ito, pagsamahin nyo lang to. So, yung x plus 5 times x minus 5, ito yun, ba? So, we have x squared, x squared minus 25. That is it. So, this is now your final answer. So, ito, multiply mo lang. x times x, x squared, 5 times negative 5, negative 25. That is it. Okay? So, since wala na tayong common factor, this is now your final answer. Is it clear? So, let us have more two examples. Number 8. We have 3x plus 1 over x squared plus 2x plus 1 plus 5 over 2x plus 2. So, dito, pwede natin to i-factor. So, using um, trial and error, ito, common naman. So, it is equal to, factor natin na. Factor muna natin. So, you have your x and x. Then, factor si 1, pag in mo ay 2, plus 1, at saka plus 1. So, that's the factor. Then, this one, just copy 3x plus 1. Then, plus. So, you have here 5 over common. Ang common sa kanila, we have 2. Open parenthesis. So, 2 divided by 2x divided by 2, the answer is x. Then, 2 divided by 2, the answer is plus 1. That is it. Then, tingnan natin yung magkakamukha. So, for us to have the LCD. So, we have here 2. Just write here 2. Then, yung x plus 1. So, ito, isa. Tapos, dalawa. So, dalawang x plus 1. So, ganun lang ha. X plus 1. So, 2. Tapos, isang x plus 1. So, count yan as 1. Tapos, yung natira, which is x plus 1. So, that would be your denominator. Right? Then, we are going to divide and multiply na. When you divide this 2, eto, so mawawala to, mawawala to, matitira ay si 2. So, therefore, yung 2, imumultiply natin sa numerator na 3x plus 1. Ingat lang ha, plus. When you divide this, 
So, mawawala ito, mawawala ito, ang matitira ay si x plus 1. So, yung x plus 1, multiply mo kay 5. So, unahin mo muna yung 5 bago yung x plus 1. Para madaling mag-distribute, hindi ka malito. So, it is equal to, so you are going to distribute na. So, 2 times 3x, the answer is 6x. 2 times 1, the answer is plus 2. Next, 5 times x, the answer is 5x. 5 times 1, the answer is plus 5. Over. So, ito, copy mo lang. 2 times x plus 1 times x plus 1. Then, it is equal to, just combine like terms. 6x plus 5x is equal to 11x. Then, 2 times 5, the answer is plus 2 times 5, the, ah, 2 plus 5, the answer is 7. So, wala ka nang pwede i-cancel doon sa denominator mo. Kaya, itong denominator mo, i-distribute mo na. Itong x plus 1, x plus 1, di ba, equal siya dito. So, copy mo lang yan. 2, matitira si 2. Then, we have here x squared plus 2x plus 1. Then, distribute mo lang yung 2 dyan. So, we have our answer is 11x plus 7 over 2 times x squared. We have 2x squared. 2 times 2, we have plus 4x. 2 times 1, we have plus 2. So, this is now your final answer. Is it clear? Next tayo, let us have the last one. Number 9 tayo. We have here... Um, your denominator is x plus 2 at saka x plus 3. So, since wala namang common sa kanila, yan yung magiging nating um, LCD. So, you have x plus 2 at saka x plus 3. That is it. Then, we are going to divide and multiply. x plus 2 times x plus 3 divided by x plus 2. So, mawawala si x plus 2, matira si x plus 3. So, si x plus 3 na yun, multiply natin kay numerator times x plus 1. Then, minus. So, ngayon, ito naman di-divide mo. X plus 2 times X plus 3 divided by X plus 3. Mawawala si X plus 3, matitira si X plus 2. So, just write X plus 2 multiplied by X plus 1. So, ito ay na minus ha. So, ito ay isi-simplify muna natin, tsaka natin i-distribute yung negative sign. So, it is equal to, let us have FOIL method of this one. So, you have here X squared. Then, we have here plus x. Inside tayo, 3 times x, we have here plus 3x. Then, 3 times 1, the answer is plus 3. Okay? Minus. Open ulit ha? Open parentheses. So, distribute na, ah, uh, full method natin, you have here x squared. Then, x times 1, we have here plus x. 2 times x, we have here plus 2x. 2 times 1, we have here plus 2. O, ingat sa pagmumultiply, ha? Over your denominator, which is x plus 2 times x plus 3. Then, tsaka natin distribute si negative sign. So, you have here now, x squared plus. Ito, combine mo na to. So, x plus 3x, we have here 4x. Then, copy plus 3. Distribute na natin si negative sign. So, we have here negative x squared. Then, this one becomes negative x. This one becomes negative 2x. Then, this one becomes negative 2. Then, over ulit, x plus 2 times x plus 3. Then, combine like terms. So, it is equal to, etong x squared minus x squared, mawawala na yan. Okay? Etong negative x minus 2x. So, lahat na may x pag sama-samahin natin. Yan. So, you have 4 minus 1, we have 3. 3 minus 2, the answer is x. So, we have x na lang. Then, you have here, x, uh, 3 minus 2, we have here plus 1. So, we have x plus 2 times x plus 3. So, yun na yung ating sagot. Or, simplify mo pa to kung gusto mo. So, you have here x plus 1. So, multiply mo lang. So, you have here x squared. So, yung gitna... Add mo to. 2 plus 3, we have 5x. Plus 5x. Then, 2 times 3, we have plus 6. So, this is now your final answer. Is it clear? So, that is how you are going to add and subtract the similar 
fractions. Okay? So, kapag maghahanap kayo ng LCD, tingnan nyo muna kung may common. Katulad nito, wala namang common sa kanya. That would be your LCD. Dito naman, ito yung factors mo. So, ang common na ano, ito, x plus 1, x plus 1, count as 1 lang siya. Count as 1 siya, then dito, isa pang count. So, then, isa kasama rin dapat si I said clear. So, wag malilito sa pagkuha ng LCD. So, find the least common denominator. So, kung walang common, that would be yun na agad yung inyong least common denominator. Mumultiply nyo na nga lang. Then, proceed to um, divide and then multiply and then addition na kayo. Then, we have we have now combining like terms. Simplify. Then, yun na. So, that would be your answer. So, kung meron kayong tanong, gusto pa kayong malinawan, uh, comment lang kayo sa ating comment box, then sasagutin ko kayo doon. Alright? And that's all for today. Thank you for watching and bye-bye!